literature structure. Okay, so that's the type of question. But as you guys know very well, the Khan Academy slash College Board categories are sometimes not that helpful. So in addition to that, I'm going to give you guys this hint or strategy or suggestion. Raise your standards. Just like these colleges are making us do, right? And you, we got to get our scores up. And we got to get our standards up for not just life. You want to have good standards throughout your life, but also on your SAT answer choices. What I mean by this is that even though this applies for all reading questions, it's particularly true in the literature. When we have something that is older language, like 1689, yeah, and maybe it's even uh, from a British society from back in those days, which is something that we might not be super familiar with, then students kind of end up guessing and picking at something like, oh, that looks familiar, and ignoring the rest of the answer choice that is problematic. Don't ignore the problematic, okay? So this is what I mean by that. So take a second to read through the text, okay? So we have three characters here, Alante and Ronaldo, and Charlotte, Alante's sister, has been delivering letters back and forth, secretly. I don't know why secretly, it's whatever, right? So the, these people have been exchanging letters, and this is the delivery person. Okay, so Alana gave this letter to Charlotte, and she ran, and if she found Ronaldo. Oh, I'm going to be honest here, guys, from some of the um, literature, the vocabulary is going to be higher level. Melancholy means sad, all right? So the dude is sad, okay? And then she showed him the letter, but she was afraid to throw it to him because she, she was scared that it would fall. So the guy got a cane, and he held the cane while she put the letter in it. And, and she just left, right? She just left. And But never was a man so transported with joy as he was reading of his letter. It gave him new wounds. Um, for to the generous, nothing obliges love so much as love. If you have no idea what this means or how he's reacting, it, it's fine. It's fine, okay? So we went through that a little bit, right? So before you look at the answer choices, notice that this is a structured question. Structured questions are not looking for deeper meaning. So they're just looking for what happened in the front half and what happened in the back half of the text. All right. So I'm going to go through the wrong answer choices and why they're wrong, as I always do. But then also, i going to remind you guys, you have to raise your standards. Okay. So let's look at um, C. It's wrong, but it presents the character's concerns about delivering a letter. This is the most common type of uh, wrong answer choice. The first half has good information. It presents a character's concerns about delivering a letter. Why? Because she was afraid to toss the letter. That is indeed. She's concerned about delivering the letter. And it's vague language. It's paraphrase. That's great. It's excellent. And then students, unfortunately, this, I don't want you to do this. Unfortunately, they just pick the answer. I already X'd it, right? Why are we ignoring the half, the other half, the second half? And then details the contents of that letter. What's in the letter? I don't know what's in the letter, guys. Okay? So this is what people do. They go, since I'm not really quite sure about the passage, uh, because of the language and because of the vocabulary, I don't know what the letter says. But maybe that's just because I don't know things. And they just let their lack of confidence just trap them in a bad answer. I don't know what's in the letter. There isn't anything about what's in the letter here. Okay? So the whole thing has to be good. Like, would you... Be friends with somebody who is like, oh, yeah, so on Monday through Wednesdays, I'll be totally a good person. But on the other days, I'm going to commit crimes. No, you would not be friends with that person. The, the, the both halves of that statement matter. Even if the first half is good, the second half is bad, throw it out. Cap standards, yeah? So this is that. D is the other way around emphasizes the excitement that another character feels upon receiving the letter. So that part, transported with joy. Sure. All right, that's an excitement. Okay. Um, and, but what am I missing? The inspiration behind the character's letter. Yeah, so why are they writing letters? Oh, I, I see. I almost got, I don't know why they're writing letters. I know they're neighbors and they've been secretly writing letters. And a lot of us say, oh, maybe they had a secret romantic... I don't know, though. They didn't say. Well, we can't be making assumptions. 
Yeah. So this is sneaky. This is sneaky. Yeah. So it's like when you're doing a business deal, and then they say, "Oh, we will pay you uh, seventeen thousand dollars for the first five shipments, and then for the other five, we'll give you something." You can't just golf. Uh, we will give you something if you don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Out. Yeah. The um, I don't think anybody's picked, but maybe they put in desperation just because they're secret. So like, did they sound similar? I don't know. Yeah. And then this is just wrong because another character has not yet written the the letter's been written. It's, it's been given. You can't give a letter if you haven't written it, right? Yeah. So there's you say. Now, why do they even ask this question? Why is this important? I don't know. The SAT wants us to do it. It describes the delivery of a letter. Yeah, because she uh, didn't throw it, but he got it with a cane. And then the happiness? Sure. That's it. That seems to make sense, right? And you're like, oh, I wouldn't get this wrong. No, people do, though. Not you, because you watch this video, but people do get it wrong, okay? So, especially for the literature passages and structure, they're not looking for deeper meaning. I just need what literally happened in the text, yeah? Raise your standards just because the front half is fine, doesn't guarantee the second half is fine of the answer choice, and the other way around as well, right? The back half being fine doesn't mean the front half is fine. If there are parts in the answer choice that are like, I'm not sure if that's true, I don't know what that is, then take it out. So the answer here is just, hey, hey, hey. What, what kind of accent is that? All right, answer is A. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's it for today's Quick and Dirty. Let me know in the comments. As always, if you guys have further questions on this video, or if you guys have other topics you would like to see covered, so that I can make another video so y'all can study every day with who? Sexy J. Y'all already know.